up top you don't know a channel review there with the next story big up on yourself in the day hope you have a productive day as always now some new information about vibes cartel case well not really vibes cartel case but things pertaining to his case so two jurors who were involved in vibes cartel's trial in 2014 are coming out and saying that they are facing hard times after the whole thing so i'm gonna read the article from the gleaner in its entirety and then give you my take on it two of the jurors who handed down the guilty verdict in the vibes cartel murder trial in 2014 are claiming that their lives have been transformed into nightmares since then the two are living overseas and say it has been difficult trying to make a new life in a foreign country away from their families they are among three of the 11 jurors who relocated overseas after cartel whose correct name is Adija Palmer and his protege Sean Storm were convicted along with Kaira Jones and Andre St. John for killing Clive Lizard Williams in 2011. They also gave evidence in the corruption trial of 50-year-old football coach Livingston Kane, a fellow juror accused of offering 500000 to return a verdict of not guilty against the entertainer. So make a break. Livingston Kane is the juror who bribed or who tried to bribe the other jurors to give a not guilty verdict to Vibes Cartel. You see me? Let us continue. Kane's corruption trial is still ongoing before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court while the Court of Appeal is still deliberating on the legal challenge filed by Cartel and the other men against their murder conviction. But the two jurors last week expressed fear that they will never set foot in Jamaica again. Why is this taking so long? Why are you going to draw out the trial of the man? one of the jurors told the Sunday Gleaner during a telephone interview last week in reference to Kane. She relocated overseas under Jamaica's Witness Protection Program and charged that the local justice system is in need of urgent overhaul. The Witness Protection Program is designed for criminals who turn over evidence to the police. It is not designed for law-abiding citizens who built a life in Jamaica, said the former business owner. She said she is now struggling to find and maintain a job in her predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. If you are a criminal in Jamaica and nothing is going on in your life and you decide to turn over evidence and go on the witness protection program, you may enjoy it because you can start over but for a person like me who is an extrovert family oriented and love having friends around the answer is no she added all of my personal information has been changed which simply means i have no past i have no identity and i am a citizen of nowhere that hurts she declared according to the former juror she has even contemplated suicide as a means of escaping her situation. Wow. She said she is prohibited from speaking to relatives outside of the eight days per year they are allowed to visit her at a location away from where she lives. The juror said her identity has been changed and she has been barred from contacting anyone in Jamaica and from speaking to any Jamaican she may come across where she is located. Her social media accounts are also monitored and while the Jamaican government gives her a stipend and pays for her living quarters, she must work to take care of her other needs. But because she is not a citizen of the country that she now lives in, she has to work menial jobs. I spent Christmas by myself, I spent New Year's Day by myself, and what angers me even more is that the person, the juror, who is the main source of this whole thing, 
was able to spend his holidays out on bail with his family. It is as if I am in prison for taking an oath to serve my country, she said. The second juror is not a part of the witness protection program but applied for and was granted special migration privileges by the country where he now resides. After he outlined his ties to the Vibes Cartel trial and his safety concerns, but he left a wife and children in Jamaica and he has not seen them in person in more than three years. He fears that he will never be able to visit Jamaica again. I really thought that this process would have been completed already, but since I moved it has been a battle in court and nothing is really happening, he argued. I fret every single day for my family because up to this point they are still there and my son is getting older and he is asking where is daddy is every day and we can only video chat. I can't even mention the sleepless nights. All the hurt and the pain, said the juror. For the two, returning to Jamaica would be their ultimate pleasure. So, gonna hear all of that. Gonna hear all of that. So after giving the guilty verdict to Vibes Cartel, they had to go through another trial with one of the jurors who was trying to bribe them. And these two jurors were the ones who gave up evidence to prove that this juror, Livingston Kane, was trying to bribe them. So, what I'm understanding from this, that's the reason why this juror is on witness protection overseas. Janu, I didn't even know that Jamaica do them things here, to be honest. Because you were third world, we never think so, we think so up. But it look like we think up like that where I put people on witness protection. Yeah, you know. But, Jano, what puzzles me is that Cartel R. Livingston Kane no one name. So, it now go hard for find where one live or where one family come from or so. And seeing that none of them not dead few much years now, cause from 2014 cartel get the guilty verdict. And from then till now, none of your families, nothing happened to them or anything. So I don't know, I don't think nothing has gonna happen to them. I don't think so. But this story just come at a time when cartel appeal a go on why this why this never happened before why they never come for it before it just seem like they want to affect the appeal some way or maybe it's just coincidence who knows but people make me know what to think about this uno feels a cartel is after the juror them who give him the guilty verdict let me know in the comment section why is it that this one person had to be put under witness protection program warm to the rest of the jury them them no need witness protection too because since cartel them are paying cartel as this person where we kill out one bag of people why the rest of jury them not dead look into that you get me but them have them reason and we don't know why them do what them do me no know the law like a lawyer or a judge or the police you get me so me can't think like them me only have my opinion so leave your opinion in the comment section and bless up on yourself big up